Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spohr and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Stamp Timber Simon Says Stamp video to share with you. This time this is the limited edition exclusive from Whim Whimsy Stamps called Just Chicken In. As always with my videos this month, I am trying to include extra ideas because when this stamp set sells out, it is gone forever. There is a stamp die combo or just the stamp uh, stamp set, which is what I am using today. I am creating a peekaboo backdrop card. So this is a fun idea that you could create with many, many critter car or critter stamp sets that you may have. This is the Lawn Fawn peekaboo backdrop. You can see that I die cut the backdrop from smooth white cardstock, and I'm using my frame kind of as a guide. Um, and I'm going to place it in my Misty and place the windows back inside of the frame and then remove the frame. Then we're gonna stamp the windows or the panels with the Simon Says Stamp Crackle background. This is going to give some crackle design to these little uh, peekaboo flaps. Three of the openings are gonna have peekaboo flaps and then the other one is not. You can choose, I was showing here a second ago, you can use the kind of, what I call them is the barn door opening flaps or the little lift flap. And so I am using the barn door flappies here and then I stamped the crackle design with Simon Says Stamp Dark Chocolate ink. I'm inking each of these panels up with Simon Says Stamp Khaki ink, which is a little bit lighter brown color. And then I'm actually going to take Schoolhouse Red and we're going to work the red into the brown. Now you might be wondering why I did that. Well, I wanted my brown to not or pardon me, my red to, to have a brown undertone. And I thought this would be a great way to give it more of a dirty or muddy type of look. These are all dye inks that I'm using to add color to the panels with. What I want this to replicate is a barn, um, like a side of a barn where you have kind of like the side and then you have all these little openings. That's kind of my goal with this. Um, you kind of have to use your imagination a tiny bit, but I like that. Sometimes when I'm creating scene cards, I like the little window look, and there's lots of great dies out there. Lawn Fawn has um, a lot of these in both Slimline and Standard A2. So does Like Mama Elephant. I think Trinity Stamps does. Whimsy Stamps, I think, does. You can get them in a lot of different companies, and it's a really fun way to create small scenes within an overall card size. So we're going to be creating a little scene on in each of those windows. After I inked up the, the each of the flaps or windows with Schoolhouse Red, I did deepen and darken the edges with Dark Chocolate, which is the color we used for the crackle. So now I need to take my background panel and I'm going to use the frame as a guide. And I'm taking my pencil and I'm just lightly penciling in each of the window shapes where I am going to be um, having the lift the flap because we wanna create a background. So when you open the flap, you get that peekaboo where there is something inside. So this is just kind of a really fun, easy, interactive type of card. And again, this is gonna work with lots of different stamp sets. This may even work with some of the stamp sets that you have already gotten during Stamp Timber, not just this set. I'm gonna take my images from the Just Chicken In stamp set, and I am gonna stamp those within the penciled boxes. I'm not gonna to have to worry about erasing those or anything like that. The doors actually open up a little smaller than the actual opening of the frame, so I'm gonna be able to use that as a guide, and you'll see that becomes important when I color everything in. So I am stamping chickens and little baby chicks, all in each of these windows. And then when I finish that, I'm gonna color all of these in. You'll notice that I'm not gonna stamp my rooster or basket of eggs yet. That's gonna go on that fourth and final panel that I'm not using doors on. So basically when the recipient takes this card out of the envelope, they're going to get a card that has four little doors in it and then one little frame. So that bottom left frame is gonna be what is always visible. 
I'm gonna double check that everything looks the way I want it to look. It's looking very cute. I left, oh, on another note, I left the frame white to resemble like the white trim on a red barn. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I had a request to zoom in closer when I'm coloring. I hope I am within camera the whole time. And I am going to color in the hay that my chicks are standing in first. And I'm using a very kind of messy flicking motion along the bottom of the frame. You can see my pencil line, perfect. Then I'm gonna take some dark brown markers and I'm going to draw in the back of like the barn door here or a chicken coop, whatever you want to imagine this is. I'm using E49 to trace out the top edge, E47 to pull that color down, then E44 to blend that out even more down into the hay or a little closer to the hay. And then finally E43 is what I'm gonna use to pull that color down into the hay. And instantly, this makes your images pop. It was really pretty quick coloring. I wanna smooth that all out. I love the contrast here. I'm gonna go back with YR23 and just feather in the hay a little bit more and pull that up for a more seamless transition between the wall and the hay. And then we're gonna color in our chickens. Starting with our big chicken here, R46 and R59, then we're gonna do a little base of YR30. Before we take our markers and really kind of just press the tip in to give some fun texture. So I added a little shading and now you can see I'm adding little dots. Kind of messy, I got one outside of there so I'm gonna smooth that out real quick but I promise it's gonna look better. So I'm just gonna kinda go over this with my markers, YR24, 27, and E19 mostly. Little YR30 for the legs and Y38, YR27 and 38. The tail feathers are the same colors, but we're gonna smooth those out a little bit more. Just kind of working our way up, I wanted this chicken to have a lot of fun texture. They're very whimsical. The name of this company is Whimsy Stamps. So they're whimsical, fun, kind of funny, sarcastic type of sentiments. Really just kind of a fun, different stamp set. I love the challenge of working with other types of stamp sets so that they're not all the same. This is a very fun, snarky, whimsical kind of critter set. I love scene building. So this was right down my alley. Um, we'll color in these little chicks here with some lighter yellow reds, YR31, 24, and 23. Little YR27 for the beaks. I love the big eye on the critters. I think that's fun. And we are going to draw attention to the eye with a black glaze marker and then a white gel pen as well. But once we color those in, see how the chicks pop against the brown of the wall and then the yellow of the hay. We are gonna do the bottom right corner next. You can see I'm adding that black glaze pen for the eye, little white highlight here and there. Um, I want the black of the eye to dry all the way and then we will come back and add a little white highlight once the black has completely dried. And I did stamp like the uh, chicken seed that was thrown out there that the chicks are eating. That's an image from the Just Chicken In stamp set. We're gonna do the same thing for the remaining two smaller windows. So hay first, you can see it's a little messy, little YR31 and 23. The wall, again, we're starting with E49, pulling the color out with E47, then E44, and finally finishing with E43. And going back in and fixing any hay so there's not that harsh line between the two. You can see my coloring is somewhat messy, but it is gonna be fine. Once we get that color on the chicks, it's gonna be perfect. Little YR23 
and 31 and finally YR 34 the little chicks I love this one that's kind of jumping up in the air and I did end up using every single chick chicken rooster image in the set and then three sentiments and I love that they're small enough that I was able to use all of these on a card very cute and fun I hope you guys love um, all of the different kinds of content videos that I have been creating this month because I know I sure have loved the challenge of it. A little R00 for the cheeks. I'm gonna go back up now, add those little white highlights into the eyes. Oh my goodness, look how their eyes pop. A little R00 for the cheeks on those little baby chicks too. A little black glaze pen for the eyes here, some little white pen detail. And then we'll come back and add the highlights once that black has dried. Let's go ahead and do our final little chick coming out of the cracked egg. Same colors as before, YR 30, 31, and 23 with YR 27 and 38 for the beak. And then for the egg shell, we're actually going to use a different color combination. Let's go ahead and do the hay and the wall first. I knew I wanted to do kind of a brownish tan egg, but I want the browns to be different than what I'm using for the background of the wall so it stands out. So I went ahead and colored all this first so I could kind of contemplate that as I was working. I just love this deep dark brown back behind. I really think it sets the chicks off and chickens perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and feather in that hay and then we will go ahead and add the highlights for the eyes down here and then E50, 55, and 57 for the egg. And I'm going to keep the same color combination for the basket of eggs but we are going to wait to color that in here in just a minute once we have um, kind of this all set and ready to go and put our frame together, build like the pop-up and stuff, and then we will add our remaining images because I will be fussy cutting those. And now Odin is up in my lap helping me with the video. Helping is a loose term. Again, black for the eyes and the highlights. It just making sure that their eyes are nice and deep and dark really makes an image pop. So there's our background. Isn't that fun? I love like the little comic strip style of it. Now on one of the windows, on the longer window with the, the doors here, so there's like a rectangle and then there's two square flaps, I want to stamp got chicken question mark got chickens pardon me i thought it would be a fun little accent to our card but then i realized i needed to see where i was going to put the rest of my sentiments before i stamp that it's going to just be a little embellishment on the outer part of the window so i'm actually going to stamp it in the lower right of this window using clear embossing ink and heat embossing with white embossing powder I really want it to stand out against the dark of the inking we did here. And again, all inks that I used for the inking of my barn panels was with a dye ink. So it did dry rather quickly, but of course I did all of that first and let it set and completely air dry while I stamped and colored my chickens for the background panel. You could even embellish the outer uh, little flaps with extra chickens if you wanted to. So grab our heat tool here and we will heat emboss. And I am still zoomed in rather close from the coloring so that didn't get videoed very well. Sorry about that. I need to buff away the excess powder from the powder tool once the embossing powder has cooled off. I also stamped just chicken 
um, just chicken in with my peeps because I thought that was really cute and funny on the bottom panel, just like I did with Got Chickens. Now I'm gonna flip my frame over. I'm gonna flip the, the uh, little window panels over and then I'm going to back the entire thing with foam adhesive. And I am using a nice low profile foam adhesive and I can go everywhere except for where those little doors open. This is gonna pop it up. Having a popped up frame allows these windows to be opened much easier in my opinion than if you keep it flat and it gives some nice depth and dimension as well. Now you can use as many or as few of these windows as you want to. I used three, you could mix and match with the other style that I was showing from this peekaboo set from Lawn Fawn at the beginning of the video, whatever you want to do. It's really fun because not only do you get a great kind of comic strip style frame, but you can also make it an interactive uh, peekaboo very easily. So you can use it with or without, which I think really makes this a versatile die set. Let's just pop in a couple more little pieces here. I've kind of pieced it all together and then I'm going to peel it all off and I actually flipped the frame over and then I flipped my colored panel over and I'm going to place that right on the back and when I open it, look inside all of the little windows. How cute is that? I love a little peekaboo. I've stamped my rooster and basket of eggs on a scrap piece of Nina Smooth White cardstock, and I am going to color them in with Copic markers before fussy cutting. I have again listed my marker colors across the top of the screen. You can also find them on my blog post that coordinates with this video. There is a link to my blog right underneath in the description. So for the tail, I'm using some fun blues and blue greens, also kind of for the underbelly of my chicken, and then the rest is gonna be more of those yellow reds that I love so much. I like pulling in some of these colors. I literally went to Google and typed in um, chicken, rooster, and kind of pulled colors from the images that I found of real chickens. If you ever kind of want maybe a different color combination, I wanted something bold and fun and I was trying to get some inspiration. I love to just type in an image on Google and then kind of see where it takes me. Even though the pictures of the chickens were not cartoonish chickens like we're doing here, I was able to gather inspiration from those images. So we'll just do a little blue underbelly. We're gonna blend out those blues with our yellow reds. So it won't really remain that blue. In fact, it kind of ends up looking a little bit more blue green. There, as we add additional color. And then we're just feathering in the rest of the yellow reds. And here's that kind of blending it all out adding extra texture by feathering with our Copic markers. I did stamp all of my image was images with Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink. This is a fantastic ink for Copic coloring. It's not gonna bleed. If you get the coordinating dies, of course you can die cut all of these images very easily and no masking or fussy cutting is required little hay in the basket of eggs. We're gonna do the eggs just in different co color combinations of E50, 55, and 57. So three of them have all three colors and then two of the eggs are going to just be E50 and E55. The basket is going to be blue since the kind of uh, maroon or mahogany color of the barn is deep and dark. I don't want to match it. I wanted the blue to stand out against it. So we went with the blues. I fussy cut my images off camera. I'm going back in with my black pen, adding that detail to the eye, and then gluing my images in place with liquid adhesive right flat to this final panel. This is the only panel that doesn't have a window that works. I opted not to add one here. And then we're just gonna glue these down. How cute! 
It's just so much fun to create these little mini scenes on an A2 sized card base. When the eye is completely dry, we do wanna make sure that we go in with our white pen and add that highlight back in. And then of course, you guys probably already guessed, I am going, going to add some little heart accents. These are the Crafty Love Trinity Stamps heart accents. I added a bunch of them to this card. So this card doesn't have just like one or two or three. We've got little hearts in every single window. I wanted lots of fun little heart embellishment here. There we go, and that is it. We're gonna put the entire thing then on a white side fold card base. It's got lots of awesome dimension. Oh, that is not all, I forgot. I felt like the barn doors needed some handles, and I decided that I would just draw them in. It would be super quick and easy. So I'm just taking a black pen and kind of drawing in some little, um, handles. I'm taking my black pen and adding little dots to the top and bottom of my lines so that they have a little bit more um, dimension to them. I love the glaze pen for that. That's the same pen I use for the eyes on my critters. So I'm going to draw those in on all of the doors. I'm going to add the little jelly roll dots there. And then I will open all of the doors here and kind of show you inside each of these little interactive windows. So much fun. I think anyone would love to receive this card. It is, um, I always love an interactive card. I think they're really, really fun. So hopefully you have maybe been inspired to try an interactive peekaboo window card. Um, Lawn Fawn has these great dies. I know that Hero Arts does a great line of peekaboo dies with little windows and things in them. They are a very simple and easy interactive card to do. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this interac interactive peekaboo card featuring the Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber Whimsy Stamps Stamp and Die Combo called Just Chicken In. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Stamp Timber products that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.